Peter, uh, obviously a very disappointing afternoon. What's your assessment, particularly on, on the second half? <laughs> the second half was poor, embarrassing. You know, um, not expected it after the first half. Again, we've had, you know, we've had a decent run of games and performances, and then first half we were in the game, bit of a sloppy goal, but we had chances. We said about regrouping come out of a game plan second half and then people don't follow that game plan and, and we get punished again by with easy goals but the capitulation towards the end um, just, just isn't good enough so it's back to the drawing board Where do we put our finger on that capitulation? Well I said sometimes we're getting punished for, for the smallest little things I think that you know I think that the again I'm not not blaming the referee for it but we've had we've had a, a fairly, fairly you know confident penalty shout turned down at 2-1 at 2-0 um, we've had a free kick on the edge of the box wasn't given referees got in the way of one took a deflection off him I think for the fourth goal but listen the game was after the, after the first two goals in the second half the game was done then it was like about getting some pride back and, um, but, but individual, individuals you know at the end of the day it's, you can work all you want and you can do everything you want on the training ground and you can, but it comes down to that desire to defend you know and, and unfortunately again today for whatever reason we've been We've been punished for pretty much every mistake we've made. You've had to change things up on, yeah. on the back line, but I assume you're not going to want to use that as an excuse. No, it's not. It's not an it. excuse because they're all experienced defenders in there that have played. They've all played at good levels. Um, and, all, you know, like I said, all I can do is, is, is we can get back to the training ground and, you know, and, and carry on working hard. And, you know, but we've got to stop these, these performances where it's, you know, three or four decent ones, you know, reasonable performances and then and then a capitulation like we did tonight like we did back at Halifax you know it's just it's it's, it's not you know it's it's not it's not acceptable um, and obviously it's it's not ideal when we're having to keep changing things around and suspensions and injuries but again as I said there's still enough players and enough quality out there to to make a game of it so you you know again you you question you know, not not the play. Well, yeah, the players, the individuals, because at the end of the day, they're the ones that go out there and, you know, and and do what they're what they're supposed to do. But obviously, the buck stops with me. Of course, it does. I pick the team, I put the players out there. Um, but it is, you know, it's it's tough to take because again, I just thought we were just starting to make inroads again with our performances over the last couple of weeks, and then uh, and then we've been hit another one by this one again tonight today, and it's just it just seems to be one thing after another. We're out of league action now till Boxing Day. FA Trophy game next week do we really just need to sort of start again well like I said I mean obviously Ben comes back Saturday hopefully JJ will have a week's training under his belt Josh should be back um, that gives us a you know a thing but but again you know we look at we look at the performances at Wildstone at Stockport we were solid compact you know threat you know threatening at the other end and then today that's it's gone out the window again in the second half especially first half we were okay Second half, it's gone out the window, and, and there's it's hard to put your finger on why. Just lastly, the, the fans will obviously be extremely disappointed of with course. the result. What would your message be for them? It's just stick behind the players, stick with the players, stick with the team. You know, it has been it has been a tough start. We always knew it was going to be. Um, obviously, we've got you know still a fair few players out injured that are coming back. We've got two suspensions that are a big miss for us as well. Um, when you've got a squad of 26 and you've probably only just about, I mean, JJ hasn't trained for since that, since before the Halifax game. Um, you know, we've probably got 14 outfield players to choose from. So it's, uh, and it's tough. But like I said, I've never turned, you know, never, never walked away from a challenge. So, you know, I'm prepared to roll my sleeves up. And obviously, you just want the fans to stick behind the players. And, you know, if we get a chance to have a home game or whatever, then, like you said, you want them to stick behind the players and, and give them all the support they can.